change it all. Yeah, greatness. Yeah, it feels like greatness. Legendary in the making. Reach out and we take it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmats Wrestling Recap. The first Raw after the Royal Rumble certainly delivered with some great action and some championship matches. What did you think about the show, Matthew? Totally pumped for both WrestleMania. That's what Royal Rumble was all about, to give us kind of a a better look towards what we're going to see at WrestleMania. Brother, there were rumors going on throughout the day about CM Punk. And, well... WWE kicked it off with just that. CM Punk comes out, talks about a tricep injury that actually happened to him at the Royal Rumble. During the Royal Rumble, I think it was a DDT by Drew McIntyre. Bro, he ruptured his tricep. Uh, torn his tricep. Okay. Now, some people think that's, you know, quick fix, right? No. He's going to be out, and he's not going to be at WrestleMania. Which sucks. <laughs> Some people call it karma to the dude, you know. That's just a kick in the ass. It's if the biggest return in WWE history and he can't headline the biggest night of 40, 40 years history. of WrestleMania, man, and he's not gonna be on it and uh sucks. definitely kicking the butt, but then Drew McIntyre comes out next to confront him to kick some butt. Uh, so- not only just confronts him. Does the heel work that Drew McIntyre does and attacked him, hit him with a glass focus, and I think stomped on his injured tricep. Actually, Sami Zayn comes out to make uh, the save here. But, man, Drew is looking mighty mean, and this is working out in his favor. Unfortunately, not for Punk. And, like, if this was storytelling, that would be storytelling at its finest. But, unfortunately, it's true, and it sucks. But we'll have to see what happens. And he said there's next year. I don't want next year. I want this year, man. But I want this year. for sure. CM Punk is still one of the best on the mic, man. That was a heartfelt promo, and it really led us right into the night. And we got some tag team action next with the tag titles on the line with uh, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano uh, DIY taking on the Judgment Day for the tag titles. What a match. Pat McAfee, nonetheless, Pat McAfee's the new commentator on Raw here. What, what did he call this match? He called it a classic, dude. It, it was. A five-star it, classic, yeah. Good match. And hey, you know what? Judgment Day took care of business. Excuse me. They got a clean win. No interference by JD or Dominic or even uh, Rhea Ripley. It was a good win. Good match. Unfortunately, DIY took the L here. But I I don't think they're buried. I I, I really don't. So after this match, Priest calls out R-Truth, right? R-Truth comes out. Priest says he doesn't say anything about Truth being in the Judgment Day. He just says he respects him. And he thinks he's a good dude, you know? So there's a little back and forth here. Our truth is an absolute idiot. He doesn't oh, know anything. I right? love Bringing up finances and all that. But nonetheless, Miz actually comes to make the save as well, J.D. McDonough hits truth from behind. Eh, I knew it wasn't going to happen. Unfortunately, sucks for our truth. His, his dreams are, are crushed. But you know what? I wouldn't mind seeing Miz and Truth team up and go for some title action. But, uh, me at WrestleMania, that's what I say. Yeah, you know what? That, that's a good tag team that I think would definitely work in 2024. And what's kind of working for me, honestly, bro, it hasn't been. But if Triple H decides to entertain it a little bit more, I think this team would would definitely be champs within the next year. So we start with Shayna Baszler, right? So they take on Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. I hate not seeing the titles on Niven and Green. It just looked good on them, but unfortunately, it, it's not. This was a good match. It was okay. I kind of wish I ended a DQ and they would prolong it because it has more potential. I mean, it's always Stark and Baszler get the win here. I think a double tap out it was. But hey, you know what? They got a dub. They needed it nonetheless. The crowd was iffy, but they felt it. And I think uh, if they kind of keep this ball rolling for them, they'll definitely be headed in the right direction. But speaking of the right direction, thus we think Cody Rhodes comes out. He's a 2024 Royal Rumble winner. The crowd erupted, bro. Nonetheless. They um, were hot for Cody, man. They, they were hot, weird. but Seth Rollins interrupts and says, basically, without going far in, in his promo, he just says, why are you going for Roman when you can go for me? We all want Roman. The crowd wanted Roman. Cody said to Rollins that he'd think about it. You know, the loss of not only Punk leaving 
avoid at WrestleMania, but seeing Rose versus Rollins instead of Reigns, that wouldn't be the smart decision, obviously. I think everybody wants to see Reigns. But hey, that was a really good segment between them two. It took up about 15 minutes of television time, and them both just killed it on the mic. Killed it on the mic. None other than Samantha Irvin. She absolutely uh, killed it too, but wow. Good promo. You could Good say promo that, again, dude. I love seeing these two go back and forth. They've had some instant classics in the ring. I remember their Hell in a Cell match very good. And uh, I wouldn't mind seeing them at WrestleMania, but Cody's got to finish that story and dethrone Roman Reigns. No bloodline funny business, and it's just going to be Cody finishing that story. I'm sure we're going to see Seth take on someone good at WrestleMania. Maybe even Gunther, who we saw in a match next, versus Kofi Kingston for that Intercontinental Championship. Well, that was actually after this, but you know what? I, I Like we were saying, Jey Uso, Bronson Reed, that's our next matchup. Pretty good match. Jey Uso defeated Bronson Reed here. It was an awesome match. Too popular, I guess you could say. Well, eh, baby faces. Nah, Bronson Reed's more of a heel, but you know what? These two, they killed it. The crowd was feeling it. But let's move to what you were just talking about. Intercontinental title online, Kofi Kingston, Gunther, what is he? Nearly 600 effing days. Gosh, grueling, grueling matchup here. Uh, you know, Kingston was close, but it wasn't super close. Like just a nice power bomb for the win here with Gunther. He's just so overwhelming. He punishes and just makes his opponents just like, <laughs> bro, he's unbeatable. He's just too good in that ring. It's insane, dude. He's really brought some prestige back to that Intercontinental Championship. Like you said, a 600-day-plus reign. Absolutely incredible. And you know what? I say with CM Punk being out now, give him a main event in one of the nights of WrestleMania. He deserves it, man. Of course, nonetheless. 100%. All right. Kabuki Warriors. We still haven't seen Bailey yet. Still hoping for a Bailey. Okay. Kabuki Warriors versus Tegan Knox and Natalia. Oh, I just don't care for Natalia anymore. Kabuki Warriors, nice clean win against Knox and Natalia. It's not that I don't like Natalia. It's just she's not doing it for me. She needs a change. You know what I mean? It's it's just eh, blah. She's a good wrestler. Isn't great, to be honest with you, but she's good. I've talked to you about this. I'm not a huge fan of Natalia. Just, just I think her time has shined. She was a hell of a performer, but her time now is just... A step out of the way you know what i mean it, it just isn't doing it for me but i she, she's an awesome person it's just not personally for me do it for anybody else but not for me oh i agree with you 100 percent. definitely a future hall of famer for sure and uh she's trying to help the young talent get over i can appreciate that but i think her days in the ring are kind of going past her for sure yeah 100 percent, bro now let's talk about bailey here so basically any attempts by bailey to announce her WrestleMania 40 uh, challenge plans. We all know who it's uh, going to be. Well, Nia Jax attacked her last week. And, well, she won the Royal Rumble. All right. See, they're planning for damage control. Yeah. You know, this is what everybody wants. Yeah. I'm I'm pumped. The whole crowd just knew it was going to be her. Oh, man. I really knew. You see that reassurance again tonight, you know? that, that That's all we got. That's it. Absolutely. Bailey was the Iron Woman of that Royal Rumble match. I think she lasted about 63 minutes, if I saw that correctly. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. And she is on her road to WrestleMania, and she's going to become a champion. I'm telling you that right now. 100%. Main event time, Drew McIntyre and uh, Sami Zayn from earlier altercation. This was our main event. Good matchup, bro. You know? Giving it to them, they're, they're putting on hell of matches. You know, the, the, the wrestling is just is fire. Storyline's there, but it's just, ah, Drew needs the title, bro. And I've been saying that for so long. I, I think he should be the one to go after Seth instead of Gunther, but it makes sense for Gunther to do it. It's, it's unfortunate that Drew had his time in it passed, so I guess Gunther, but I don't know. It's tough because both men are so deserving, especially Drew. But, uh, you know, Sami Zayn put up a fight. Even a halibut kick didn't put McIntyre down. Claymore obviously put Sami Zayn down. He was the underdog, but you know what? McIntyre's heelishness is just standing out like crazy, and it was the right call. Absolutely. It was great to see these two go back and forth in the main event, Sami Zayn coming back from injury. And you know what? Like you said, this heel Drew McIntyre, give it to me. I have a way to solve all of our issues for the main event of WrestleMania, 
Why don't we make it a triple threat match between Gunther, Seth Rollins, and Drew McIntyre for the title? There we go. Well, I hate to say it. Drew McIntyre is going to take the L if Gunther is in there. It's going to be unfortunate. And that I, I hate to say it, but that's the only way to book that match. You can't have Gunther take the L, especially being the longest reigning IC champ. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what Papa H. Scott's plan. Absolutely. Let us know what you guys thought about the show. Always like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Until then, peace out. This has been Cosmet. Thanks for watching.